Okay, so this is a quick video just to show you how to set up a syslog file um, to either store locally on the camera itself or to a network share, either being a NAS drive or um, a shared folder. Um, okay, so to do this, it's fairly simple. We need to go to System Options, Advanced, and then to Open Script Editor. Okay, so in here we need to go to the syslog.comp file. We can open this up and what we need to do is scroll right to the bottom and then we can put any new entries at the bottom. Um, this entry here uh, represents that the camera is sending its messages to a third party application installed on my server at this address. So my third party application is Splunk. Um, it's a free software. Um, and no need for licenses um, if you don't go over 500 megabits um, of data per day. Um, however, if you want to store it locally, um, which is generally the best option, less hassle, less, it's easy to set up, what we need to do, we'll create a new line. Um, so to start off, we need to do star dot star, which basically means all messages captured will be sent to a file, uh, directory and file location here on the camera. Um, so it's a forward slash TMP forward slash sys log file. Now this syslog file, um, you can call that whatever you wish. That's just the file name. So it could be M1054 or the IP address of the camera. Um, also what we can do um, is set up a syslog file that gets sent to uh, an external network share. So NAS drive or shared folder. Um, to do that, we just do star dot star forward slash var forward slash spool forward slash storage forward slash network share and then forward slash syslog file. Again, the end part here, the syslog file, uh, can be called whatever you wish it to be. That is the, the file name for the file that's going to be put on the network share. So once you've entered those uh, URL strings in there, what you need to do is set save file. And once that's saved, um, you can just exit out of this. Um, now normally you can just restart uh, the camera or the encoder. Um, and once you've done that, the syslog files will then start generating and you should see them in uh, the individual folders. However, what we've done now is we've created um, a syslog that will go to a network storage device. So what we need to do now, um, just to show that, is to attach the camera to a network share, which is quite important. So what we'll do, um, we need to tell it to where the, this network share is. So click on network share here, um, and then we can put in the uh, IP address or the host name for the network share. Okay, so let's do that now. So we'll put that to my other server. Uh, it doesn't have to be a server. It can be a Windows 7, XP, Vista, Windows 8 machine, as long as it's got a, a network share set up. Um, so I'm just going to put that into my public folder. Um, and I know that I need uh, login information here. So administrator. Okay, so we'll do, we'll just quickly connect. Fairly sure that should connect without a problem. Okay, there we go, that's uh, connected. Um, all your settings here, it does, it's not really relevant um, for what we're doing. Um, this is only relevant for actual recordings. Uh, we're not doing any recordings from the camera to this network share, so it can just be left as it is. Okay, so now all we need to do is restart the camera. Um, and while I'll do the restart, this can take maybe up to a, a minute, um, I'll just pause the video uh, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the camera is back up now. Um, so what we can do now, the syslog file should have been created um, on the camera as well as on the network share. So what we'll do first is just take a look at the log, uh, the syslog file that was set up on the camera itself. Easiest way to do this, we can go to um, System Options, Advanced, and then Open Script Editor. 
Um, once in here, if we just double, if we click on the two dots here, we'll go back to the main directory and then click on the TMP. And here you go, you can see the syslog file being created here. So we can click on that and now we can see that all the information that the camera um, logs is stored in this file. Now, the downside with this is if the camera's factory reset um, or factory restored, then this file will be lost. However, if you do a, a restart on the camera, then this information will be saved as long as there's no factory re um, default or a restore, um, this information will be gone. Um, now, with regards to the network share, what we can do, we can browse to the network share location uh, and we should see the syslog file there. The information in the syslog file on both the camera and the network share will be identical. Uh, in this case, it's just for purposes of the video, just to show you the two different ways you can do it. Um, so here you go. You can see that this syslog file has been created. Um, and let's take a look at this. Okay, here you go. This is exactly the same as we saw on the camera itself. Um, however, it's just an easier place to locate the file. Uh, and that's it. Um, thank you for watching.